Alright guys, so um, one of the most asked questions on my videos is whereabouts do I fish, what spots do I fish, etc, etc. And um, to be honest, I don't really fish any great spots, you know, I don't fish like well-known pike, pike spots or anything, I just fish regular canals and uh, rivers and ponds and lakes etc. So I thought I'd do a video just going over how you can find somewhere to catch pike because uh, that's the, the main thing when you're getting into the pike fishing you've got to do a lot of exploring you've got to put a bit of time in to find the spots to catch where you, where you can catch pike basically because there's the 90 percent of waters in the uk anyway there is there is pike um and it's just about putting that legwork in and finding them so Basically what I've done, uh, it's about a month ago when I went and filmed this, um, but went on Google Maps, just had a look about uh, within about 10 mile radius from where I live and found some promising water that looked like a good spot to do some pike fishing. So I'm going to flip to screen share and uh, just basically show you what it is and then We'll roll on to the actual fishing footage and you'll be able to see if I actually caught anything. So yeah, I'm going to flip, flip, flip the view and we'll just see. So as you can see guys, I blurred most of the picture out so you can't see exactly where I've been. But um, basically, the main spot I wanted to go was this um, little pond that's like split in two by um, a track. Um, I thought that looked a decent spot, but obviously I wasn't 100% sure whether it was private or not. So that was my main spot. And then back up, just a few metres away, is like this... Um, it's not an oxbow, but it's kind of just like a overflow pond for the river. So, good chance that's going to hold some pike. I mean... Um, it's about, you, you can't tell on this, but it's about um, half a mile long and probably 20 metres wide at the widest bit. So it's kind of just like a canal cut just alongside the river. So I thought that looked a good spot for some fish and it looks like it's probably not a private spot. So yeah, basically headed out to these two. Uh, this first spot that's circled in red, um, that... I fished for about half an hour and it was quite hard to find anywhere to to um, to cast from basically, it was quite overgrown but did um, did did manage to get a follow so there's definitely a pike in that pond and then moved over after that and fished this little um, this little cut section and yeah managed some fish out of that so yeah found the pike what I was looking for but Anyway, yeah, basically that's all I did. Went on Google Maps, found some water, looked like it would hold some pike, and went to it and caught some pike. And that, <laughs> that's all it takes, really. Um, there's not much more to it than that. It's just about putting the legwork in, and then you can find a spot that's got a few jacks in, or maybe you can find a spot that's, that's stuffed full of 20 pound pike. So, uh, yeah, it's just about putting the time into it. You, you're not going to get many people these days telling you exactly where the fish. Um, I don't know why. It's just people are scared that they're going to get poached or whatever. But, you know, that's how people are. But anyway, I'm going to let the footage play. And, um, yeah, hope you enjoy. Follow. Yes, there's pike in here. 
I've got him. Yeah. Oh, no. <sighs> well, there's definitely a pike then. That were a nice, nice enough pike as well. <laughs> Crazy take, followed it right to the edge and then just took it while it was sitting still. Uh, so there should be pike in here, someone else fishes it. <laughs> oh, shallow. Oh, a pike followed it and it just pulled out of the water. Hang on. Oh, I spooked him. See that swirl? <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a pike in this little lock though, isn't it? See his bubble trail going along there. It's quite hard to see because it's it's um it's coloured water and there's glare on the water as well and uh I haven't brought my Polaroid glasses, so but yeah, that's good. I've had three casts and a follow, so yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll catch a pike out of this. Oh, you are joking. Jesus. Push that treble right out then. <laughs> I think it grabbed it and pushed the treble out of its own mouth. That's frustrating. Well, <laughs> first hit might come back that. Don't think it felt the hooks or saw me or anything, so, so we'll see. Only a small pike, but. There we go. Under that tree. I knew that was a good spot. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's a good fight. <laughs> yes. Decent pike. <laughs> I knew under that tree there were going to be a nice pike. Come here, son. Yeah. Oh, well, finally managed to hook up. Nice lean pike, a few scars on him, so there's obviously some big ones that like to eat little ones in here. But yeah, get this guy put back, try get some more carp. Yeah. <laughs> I knew there was going to be one right under that tree. <sighs> but it's, it's uh, made a mess of this. torn the head up. She I ain't got any spare ones of these as well and it's my favourite. <laughs> Yes, there we go. That's a better fish. Oh, yeah, I knew the red would work. <laughs> yeah, better fish. Second cast with the red one. Oh, uh, not a better fish, but yeah. <laughs> Ate that. Uh, it's a little bit better, maybe. At least I finally got a second pike. Really did eat that straight across the back. <laughs> yes, there we go. Pike number two. Nice little fish in here. Nice and dark. I like dark pike. Yeah, this is scarred up as well. But yeah, pike number two. Another little jacky, but small pike is better than no pike.
Red Western swim. <laughs> it's not even mine, this is my brother's, but um, I borrowed it, so. <laughs> that hit it real, real nice and hard, that as well. Just before last light, so perfect. Cast. Oh, perfect spot. That's it. Could find this light though. Um, I'll definitely be back. As there's a lot of pike, and I did see see two uh, two good sized fish as well. So yeah, definitely be back probably soon. And the good thing is as well, it's free, so I don't need to buy any club books to fish it, so that's always a bonus. <laughs>